last time out we changed the brake pads on my Honda VFR 1200. Here we go. Famous last words. What was it going to do? It was sunny out. A balmy 7 Celsius. A veritable heat wave in February. The truth was, I wanted to ride. And that's why I took a shortcut wrenching on this bike. I should have known better. No, I did know better. When I returned home after that ride, this is what I heard. The front brakes were dragging on the rotors. My sloppy and patient job had left me with an embarrassing sound of anything but silence. So I started the test. I marked the rotors with chalk. Find out which or maybe both of them were vocalizing their displeasure with my brake job. Turns out it was both. A double double dose of negligence. So like the patient that the doctor left a septic sponge in during the operation, my bike went back on the lift. This time, there'll be no shortcuts. This time, we'll do it right. Off came the calipers, and before removing the pads this time, I pushed the pistons out by pumping the brakes. You see, what causes brake drag is dirt and brake dust caught on the piston walls. This mix of all things nasty wedges itself between the piston and the caliper wall. I only hope it didn't make its way into the piston seal. If it did, we'd have to remove and replace the seal. A waste of fresh brake fluid and the time spent doing this job wrong the first time. Once the pistons are extended, we can go ahead and remove the pads. Now try not to push the pistons back in just yet. Now we just need one critical special tool. One that you may have to covertly obtain. Um, hey Rod, have you seen my toothbrush? A toothbrush and a little bit of DOT4 brake fluid, or whichever fluid your bike uses, will hopefully cure what's dragging on these brakes. If you remember, I did attempt to use some brake clean and thought that that would be okay. What I should have done from the start was follow this method. Take the toothbrush and scrub the piston walls. This cleans and lubricates those pistons. Do your best to get all the hard to reach places, following with some cotton swabs to get in the places that my wife's or your toothbrush won't reach. Once clean, a little more DOT4 on the piston walls for lube and we can push them back into the caliper. I repeated the process on all three corners of the bike, including the rear, which, if you remember, didn't need to come off the bike to change pads. All the crap's out of there. Clean off any excess brake fluid, put the brakes back together on the bike, and don't forget to pump up the brake pistons before you roll out. This time we got it right. And luckily we didn't have to change any of the piston seals. So the patient was safe for now. Until next time, be sure to ride safe. He's either the most incompetent surgeon I've ever crossed paths with, or he's a sociopath.